Ooh, this kind of talk. <sighs> that if we haven't been demonetized yet, we will be soon. Yeah. I didn't even know we were monetized. We aren't anymore. 
<laughs> I get, I give you three guesses as to why. <laughs> is, is, is it me? Is it me? <laughs> Cough. <laughs> is, it me? is it me, Jesus? No. No, my I child. Am. No. I'm, I'm sorry. It's because of me that we're not monetized. All right, it's not your fault. Totally. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're like maybe like fifty percent responsible. I don't know. It's just... ah, ah. I do make a lot of dicks. Yeah, you make more dick jokes than people who have dicks. I mean, it's because I'm gay. It's true. Didn't Freud call that penis envy? I don't know. Freud. Uh, Freud said a lot of stuff that isn't really worth thinking about. Freud said a lot of stuff. Kind of like hey, that. Uh, kind of sounds like me. <laughs> yes, yes, Michael, you are just a walking Freudian. <laughs> uh, I feel I should take that as an insult, but I'm not because it's funny. It is funny, and you should. <laughs> hey, get your foot out of your mouth! <laughs> Michael, I had to tell you that last week. Stop telling me. <laughs> no, just kidding. Like, Michael, you can't take Swear to God, you put that foot in your mouth again. No! 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 You're gonna have to soften up them feet. <laughs> no foot in mouth! <laughs> uh, awful jokes. Mmm, shit. Alright. It's not. Don't fucking look now. at me like that, kid. Feet are absolutely fucking disgusting. Keep them out of your fucking mouth. People with foot fetishes are fucking weird. <laughs> Michael, Michael, I feel like this level of uh, anger might be directed at more than this. The baby, do you have a problem with your own foot fetish? <laughs> I don't have a foot fetish. These are fucking gross. <laughs> this is a pretty stream reaction. You know, some people might call that a defense. <laughs> yeah, me thinks he's off for test too much. <laughs> I don't want that penis in my mouth. Rose. <laughs> Rose. Uh, Gross. Oh, only if it's yours, Axel. Oh, I thank you, Michael. <laughs> it's not going in your mouth, though. Well, <laughs> a Axel said, I don't want no, no penis in my mouth, and I go, only if it's yours. Uh, oh, thanks. Where was it, Ben? Katie's looking at like this. Like, that's exactly what happened, bro. It's always somewhere. It's always I just don't somewhere. know where all the time. Is that a Vinny? No, this is uh, another one of my family. Oh. Yeah. It's a Chewy, bro. Not, 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 not to be racist, but they sound the same. <laughs> not to be racist, but they sound It's all right. You guys all sound that's the same okay. to too, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Which is funny because Vinny's always is all like. There goes my monetization. <laughs> Holy fuck! Because his Vinny's your cousin, right? Vinny's like my little brother. Okay, but Vinny's is like Axe's little brother, Man, and he always comes on and does this awesome reminder. Like, <laughs> Michael, racism is not the answer. <laughs> I should have him come he, up here just to he say that. Because was around when my. Main league account got banned because I was being a racist asshole. Holy shit. That's funny. Yeah. Don't look at me like that. I can't look at you. It's the internet, but I'm doing it. I, I can feel you looking at me, Axel. I'm looking at you through the internet. <laughs> I'm doing it disapprovingly. <laughs> that's, kind of, that's kind of how Katie's looking at me right now. We probably have the same look right now, me and her. Just both like this mild dissatisfaction with our choices. I'll take a picture of her to show you how she's looking at me. All right. Come on, Discord, open up. All right, let's see. Let's see how Katie's looking at you. If I if it's how I imagine it, uh, it's gonna be fucking great. See, this is why I almost want to have the Discord chat up in the stream too, but. One, it's too much work, and oh, two, it's too much. Camera error, me. Ah. This is what you it's get for not having work. your stream webcam. There we go. All right. Yeah, there it is. 
<laughs> Meanwhile, your baby's trying to eat her feet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just knew it too. Just once again, this look of mild dissatisfaction with the choices. Just like, what have I done? Why did I pick? To, why did I have four slushies back to back? <laughs> Dude, if I had sense. four slushies back to back, I'd be in the fucking hospital again. Well, that's you. But just remind me that's how I poison you is with a Snickers bar. No. I'm... <laughs> just... <laughs> this is like, what happened? I don't know. Hides chocolate in pocket. <laughs> Mystery, dog. Away. <laughs> uh, man, it's all right. It's right. It'll be the same thing with me and lactose. Just like one day they'll find me. What happened? He just farted himself to death. I didn't even think it was possible. <laughs> I was both astonished and horrified. One time, I ate an entire pint of Ben and Jerry's ice cream and then went to sleep. Oof. Well, that well, sounds like a horrible I was idea. Gonna fucking die. I thought I was gonna fucking die. I thought I had another kidney stone. Oh jeez, you've had a kidney stone? Rough. I have, yeah. In January. That sucks. Of last year. Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't <sighs> want that. That sounds awful. Uh, my father is a very tough dude i've only ever seen him like down a couple times like where he like was in too much pain to function once was when he had appendicitis after he'd already had his appendix burst for like three weeks oof yeah you can't eat the couch well, you tell that to the couch <laughs> mm, couch uh the other time was when he had like walking pneumonia and it was like halfway dead and then the third time was when he had a kidney stone they really suck like that's when i almost got addicted to percocet yeah don't do that then then me yeah. and chewy have to sell shit to you no i'm just kidding, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. what i got friends and family discount though uh <clears throat> i don't give a discount to friends or family oh shit oh, i shit. usually i usually depending on the drug i charge more oh shit yeah, so like uh, Percocets and stuff, I charge more for families so that they don't do them if I can help it. Damn. Yeah. Uh, you get a discount on weed, though. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, I mean, YouTube. I'm a businessman. <laughs> I, grow, I grow flowers. Uh, weeds, oh. specifically. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, milkweed. Yeah, that, that's the one. And dandelions. But it's okay, it's legal. It's okay, it's totally legal, legal where he lives. It's actually Wink. super legal where I live. Wink. Very super legal. Not, I was not gonna say, legal. Axel, I don't know what you're talking about. You tend to, uh, when I was down there both times, you kind of supplied me pretty good what, for free. What are you talking about? That's the whole difference. If you want to smoke with me, you can always smoke <laughs> with me for free. <laughs> We're going on this trip together. It's a free ride. Hey, hey, Axel, remember that time where you told me to do dabs on my own? Look, man, you were a grown adult slash big person. I was like, Michael's got this. Like, he's seen Tank a couple times. Like, he know he should know that, you know, he's not ready for the big boy stuff. Nope. See, I didn't know that the hit I did was a big boy hit, okay? I mean, it's... I was still new to dabs. That was my second day down there, and I only did it once the day before. Look, man... If if someone gives you like, I don't know. Let's say let's say somebody gives you a fucking drink, right? Uh huh. You drink the drink and you look at this drink and this drink's like yeah, it's like a shot glass. You're like cool. I'm gonna take this shot glass and have a good time. And the next day you go to the bar, right? And he's like, you want that drink again? He's like, yeah. But then he pours it into the boot. It <laughs> fills the boot. Do you drink the boot? <laughs> <laughs> I'm stupid enough. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, there's the answer I want. <laughs> you just drink the food. I didn't think it was this big last time, but it probably was. You know what? This seems right. No, <laughs> this and so seems normal. And so I I'll so, drink this out of a boot, even though yesterday I drank it out of a shot glass. And so, uh, you know, Michael took his dab, and he was good for about five minutes. Oh no! And we started playing magic believe 
it was... we tried playing magic well we started playing magic you tried for about five <laughs> minutes and then had to go lay down <laughs> well it was more like <laughs> coughing fit <laughs> in the bathroom coughing fit with dry heaves and then you came and checked in on me i couldn't walk so you had to help me walk to the fucking bed and I also had to walk you walk you back to that was later. You missed some stuff in there, man. There were some things in there. I think you blanked out. <laughs> I think he's blanked a couple things out in between those times. I I, <laughs> I I I remember it pretty fucking clear what happened. I just cut a lot of things out, I which is really odd because how high I was, but I remember all of it. Yeah, it's uh, it's one of the great things about weed. Uh, it's not great for short-term memory, but long-term memory isn't very affected. Yeah, I remember how everything exactly happened. Because the coughing fit started, you know, after the hit. And they didn't stop. And eventually I had to go to the bathroom because I started dry heaving. Yes. And I was in there for a while, and you came and checked in on me and whatnot. And because I literally remember you hearing, hey, I think I should go check on Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the many things I said, but uh, uh, that was the first or second one, because there was another time I went to check on you to bring you water. Yes, yes, you did bring me water, and I remember holding it <laughs> like I was drinking it out of a tiny teacup. <laughs> Is it and it was a glass cup with a fucking handle on it. It was a big cup. <laughs> Yeah, I was holding it like a fucking tiny teacup. He's just like, what is this magical little teacup? Uh, but yeah, there's that. And then, um, let's see what else. Uh, there was Can't another point after that where I had to take you to the bathroom. I don't remember you having to take me to the bathroom. Yeah, I had to walk you over there once. I, I left you there to piss, but came back a couple minutes later. You were doing okay. You were like leaned up against the wall. <laughs> it was like I said. He this is like one or two things I think he may have forgotten about. Because there yeah, he went to the he part, went to the but bed, but he didn't stay there the whole time. There was once or twice he popped up and went around before he died. For the last bit, we'd just be yelling over Michael. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm before I actually fully passed out. I was in the fucking bed, curled up, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just giggling to himself at one point. It was great. That's why I was like, I felt bad, but I'm like, ah, he's fine, man. He's fine. Look, man, it's not like with uh, some other drugs where you can have a really bad, bad time. Yeah. Weed just doesn't really hit those that's, centers that much. That's, that's the thing. I won't touch those other drugs that have the potential of turning into a bad time. The only drug I will touch is weed. Oh, yeah, what about alcohol? And then the excuses came. <laughs> I mean, I, in all fairness, I really don't drink that much either. No, you don't. But it's just one of those things where people are always like, I don't do drugs. It's like, uh, what about caffeine or sugar? Okay, I don't do the hard drugs. There you go. That is a word I'm looking for. I'll, I'll do the stock core drugs. That's that's fair. To be fair, to be fair. Uh, but to be fair, the uh, even the hardcore drugs, right? Like the problem with them a lot of the time is uh, not that the drug itself is bad, but the way in which it's used is not appropriate, is right? Like cocaine and heroin used for the correct assets are fine but used as a pleasure drug is not good because they're highly addictive substances uh, i used to smoke with this uh friend of mine back in the day when i was still in high school and i stopped smoking with him one day because he decided he used him to crush up a pill and put it on top of the bowl yeah i had friends it. like that and i was all like which is just dumb because nah, you really good. don't get that many effects from the pill but people used to do that the big one that we used to have was you would sprinkle like yeah, some other drug on the bowl. Myself. Yep, be safe, guys. You too. Have a good podcast, brother. Thank you. I'll be watching you later. Appreciate it. But, uh, yeah, the 
they would sprinkle other drugs on top. I mean, obviously you could get the classic wet weed, which that stuff was awful. I think I've had it one time, never again. It makes you feel like you're dying. And then uh, my homie used to do uh, snow caps, which was named after snow cap candies. <laughs> oh, they actually have a strain called Snowcap now. Cool. I have I have never done the weed. Could you please? You should do weed at least once in your life. I feel like you should try not everything, but most things once. As long as it doesn't come with like I'm gonna die as a side effect or some sh some shit like that. Oh, you mean like drinking almost an entire bottle of Fireball yourself? You know, look, I did say <laughs> that an alcohol is a drug. Because <laughs> that's, that's one of those things where someone mentions like Fireball, I kind of get the recollection of almost dying. And it's all like, no, I can't drink that anymore. <laughs> so candy I, I can't one. drink cinnamon flavored drinks without dying. <laughs> Maybe maybe I'll maybe I'll do a weed with my girlfriend. One day. And once again when I say to do them, I always suggest to do them in the appropriate environments, controlled with plenty of uh possible so like when I do drugs, right? Like I, I plan ahead of like I know how long my drug high lasts, I know what my plans are for that day when I do it most of the time. I mean for other things besides weed mostly. I uh tell someone I'm doing it. So that if I like need help, I can go to them. Um, and then once again, just making sure you're in a situation that's conducive to whatever you're doing, right? Like, probably shouldn't go to the funeral high. Not gonna be a good time, most likely. Uh, when I, I used to generally not a good time. I'm just I, when I used to work in the meat department, I used to go on lunch with one of my friends, and we drive around on lunch break and get high and go back to work. That and one's meat, like an up and down. Yeah. Meat? It's yeah, up and down for that one. Dumb shit. I mean, hey, it all turned out fine. Once again, it's all relative, right? Like, so like you probably shouldn't operate heavy machinery high. Like but, a meat cutter. You know, but I mean, it's all relative. I don't get extremely stupid when I'm high. I think that's the other thing about weed that I like so much, as opposed to drinking, is it's a lot easier to tell and define how high you are and be like all right i'm super high like i can't do anything and then you'd be drunk and you're like nah man i'm cool got this like i took like six shots the other day and hopped on the roof to help my cousin put up some cameras hmm. not a great idea hey look there she is oh no i've been here for a hot minute Let, uh pretty much muting you guys while i was watching videos like i told um carly yeah, I I know, because I saw you deafen yourself the moment I pulled you in here. Yeah. Dare. And? How did you not tell us, Carly? How could you? I didn't know. I apologize. I didn't look. Hey. I sent her a message, like, join us, and then I never checked back on it. You <laughs> you immediately responded to. That is hilarious. I yeah, love that she because... didn't check back at all. Yes. Yeah, so who's, re who's really at fault here? I mean... Ooh. I mean, Ooh. Okay. I mean, Money. I could have Money. my five minutes of. I, I just honestly, I can I watch hey, a, a videos in these? But yeah, more or less, yeah, I'm here. I cast vicious mockery at Jewel. Well, oh, sure you Hashtag are. Hashtag Victor Rabba. That's your go-to when you feel offended, sweetheart. True. Yeah, I remember when you tried casting vicious mockery on Sarah's show? Yeah, that was fun. I think I have enough health to survive it now. Oh it's still funny <laughs> with Donnie. It just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. It just doesn't. Mm -hmm. Because Donnie cannot be mocked. <laughs> Donnie does the mocking. Donnie is the one who knocks. I mean mocks. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I got mixed up. I'm watching Donnie too much Breaking Bad. All right, well, what I'm going to do is I got to start assembling stuff for the adventure make sure everything's in the right place so i'm gonna go mute uh and while i do i'm gonna let uh somebody describe to the people at home 
what is going on. Oh, we've been streaming this entire time? I told you that. No one listens. Uh, I, I know that for a fact. There's a reason why. I, does anyone hear me play listening to him video? That's even worse. I, I can get you in trouble. So, um, I will that's... I will pull up uh, Rick Athley and Rick Roll everyone. Then we're going to get copyright strikes. All right, I'll be back. Oh, good, good luck. Yeah, see, I didn't do jack shit all for this. So, what happened last week? Not last week, week before. Was we we were trying to bring the dead people to the poison crew who were sitting at these tables here, right? Didn't work because there was nobody there to get them. And then our resident ranger found that there was blood leading to right here. I really hope that we're on screen right now. Right here at the top of this building. So we're like, oh, they must have gone up. And so I climb the fucking building like Spider Woman. And I peer over the lip of the roof. And then we ended the session. Oh, we're also doing heist. That's what. That's the whole reason of this. We're trying to get money. Sounds like a good recap. Yeah. Oh, Mike. I almost called him Bob. Mike is fucking down for the count right now. He's not down for the count. He's just paralyzed. Down for the count. <sighs> no yawning allowed here, Miku. Yeah, well, you know, deal with it. <laughs> Miku, how dare! I'm gonna cross stitch while I play D and D. Don't tell the DM. No multitasking. <gasps> oh, too late for that. That was hysterical. Thank you, thank you. I, I thought it would be funny if I came back at that moment. <clears throat> anyway, have you described to the lovely people at home what's happening? Yes. We the cliffhanger. I'm peering over the lip of the roof. And we cliffed hanged. We did. I forgot. Did you roll your perception? I feel like you might have. Uh, that, I think that's that plus 14. No, that's persu- Wait, what I have I think plus that's, 14 for? I think that's stealth. Yeah. No, we don't have a plus 14 for stealth. You do with Michael's passive. Yeah, with my ability running at the moment. Okay. I'm glad I remember this Cause, stuff. Cause I should probably take more notes. <laughs> As long as you're within 30 feet of me. I remember now. Which, which you're just barely. Uh, I'm not sure, actually. I can roll again. I'm not sure if it's that 16 or if it's... I need to roll again. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll let you make the decision. You can either take that 16 or roll again. Hmm. Hmm. That's a tough decision. Uh, I'll go with the 16. All righty. Take the coward's way out. How dare. And I can't remember. Are you like hanging from the roof? Oh, no. M Mike's holding you, isn't he? What's going on? No, I climbed. You climbed? I climbed. Okay, you climbed. Mike is like paralyzed at the moment. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mike. Or some shit like that. Yeah, I forgot that they did that to Mike. Because he fucking dropped me like an asshole. Mike. <laughs> James, shit, shit. <laughs> no, Mike, what the fuck? He's baby. Ooh. He 
tries his best. I'm super stealthy with my 30. Do you think they see me? No. Let <laughs> it go out on a limb here and say no. You uh you probably uh oh, except for that no that that one doesn't see you anyway cuz crits don't count on skill checks. But yeah, no. <laughs> Not at all. Right. Uh I'm still fucking hidden. <clears throat> so as you you know, go over the top and you're like, what the f's going on here? You see to yourself that on the roof, there seem to be uh, roughly eight to ten figures. Uh, and, uh, you know, for some reason up here, it's dark. It's dark up here? It's dark up here on the roof. Is that like a spell? It could be. Is what on... are they doing? Well, you're not sure, but from what it looks like, you see some giant bats. Bats? <laughs> My god. Are they vampire bats? I mean, this is a good question, but uh, that's something you'll have to determine for yourself. Ooh, how do I determine that? Uh, that's a good question. And I can't tell what they're doing. Uh, they seem to be surrounding something. <gasps> is that, is that, is that, is that the, 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 what's her face? Pay, 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 pal, pay as, pay as. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, My I God, we've this. never left the carnival. Or have you? Or have you? Can I make a roll to see if this is real? <laughs> Six months later, I still can do it to him. <laughs> <laughs> I broke him. Ow, sorry. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> but is this a real check? <laughs> God, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, everything seems legit. What the hell? <laughs> I knew the Is two. I legit? looked. I looked at them like, if I put this in here, it will fuck with their brains. <laughs> Is it legit, Paz? I mean, is it? I fucking hate you, Axel. Ah, uh, you love me. <laughs> This is the real question. Okay. Okay. So I drop back down. And I say, Dude, our old boss is up there. Oh, uh, I don't know what to do. Who? Our old boss. So the, well, not... You're, you're a baby. You don't know. You don't remember. <laughs> you're um, a baby? <laughs> Just... Fucking Paz. Remember Paz? She had the bunch of arms. Snake butt. Snake butt. Snake butt. Mm, not ringing a bell. Oh, fair enough. Actually, I think you, you wouldn't remember who she is, but I think you met Paz after you died and came back. Or at least I mean, a version of Paz. You're right, but you also got to remember I lost some of my memories. That's true. He lost a lot. He gained some things. Let's say he's almost back at square one. <laughs> you just hear Mike finally weakly stand up. Mike. Uh, Mike. Shame. Mike, no. Mike, 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 Mike. So, I don't know what to do in this situation. Our old boss is up there surrounded by a bunch of bats, and I'm pretty sure they're vampire bats. Do we fight him? Do we talk to him? I don't know. 
Do we mm, 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 stab? Mm, 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 stab. Florence, well, I mean, Florence is here in spirit. <laughs> uh, I thought yeah, you would need me. I thought I was necessary because, you know, didn't play the previous edition. So, I don't know. Florence, what do you think here? I don't know. Our old boss is up there, surrounded by a bunch of bats. How much... In... Wait a minute, Florence met the old boss, right? Ye. You mean you were there uh, longer than all of us. Okay, yeah, I know, I know. Well, yeah. technically you were both there in a, a, like a roughly equivalent amount of time, and it was a trickery thing. I mean, I think Florence was there like a week longer or some shit. Oh, okay. still longer than I was. But yeah, she's, uh, she's the one who was the juggler. Okay, but, um... Wait a minute. Did I roll high? If I remember correctly, did I roll high enough to know what the heck the old boss was, right? Mm -hmm. I don't remember if we checked that. I think they told you what they were. Yeah. I'm just going to go out of lit. Because uh, you know what I'm about to say, right? It I could... didn't start taking notes at that time. No, yeah. Nobody was. <laughs> I mean, we can probably go look back through the footage, but I'm not gonna go. There's so there. much hey, work. No, you take notes. Good D and D players. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> cries. Oh, it's all right. I don't take notes either. I Bad at it. Notes. I mean, I take some notes, but not enough for a DM. So, anyway, uh, there's a possibility, and then hear hear me out, uh, Carly. That that's uh, not our. Uh, that's you do know there's a possibility that there's multiple iterations of one creature, right? Oh, that is true, isn't it? <laughs> okay, 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 <laughs> That's okay, why okay. I put it up there. Okay. Like, I, just gonna... <laughs> I know, I gotta figure that out. It's like... The... <laughs> I just knew that Ashley would immediately assume by her visual, obviously being new at the game, too. So it's like, yeah, I mean, this is the only one I've seen like that. It must be pets. <laughs> <laughs> that is... I sit there. I'm not, I'm not even paying attention, really. I'm watching a speed page. And I just jump in and say, you do know there's more than one. <laughs> I love how he asks a series of questions and come to the conclusion that maybe probably made Axel say, yeah. Yeah, that, that's, the, that's the Here's the thing. the thing. It's like, I'm, I like to give just enough information for you guys to hang yourself with. <laughs> in this case, in yeah. this case. Yeah, you do. Yeah, and that's why I left, let them sort this out for five seconds. Because, um... I've already come to the conclusion of certain things. If I help them sort this out, who's really the smart ass here? This is why we Mike. need you, though. Because... No. <laughs> no. It's Mike. No. <laughs> I was like, that wasn't just that ready to just be like, it's Pez, because it's the only one I know. <laughs> I, I love, too, that she would immediately pop up there and be like, holy shit, in the dark. At this like figure. That... immediate jump to conclusion and it's great that I sit, I'm, I, I'm not real like I said not paying attention and I, I love it it was hilarious yeah here's that's here's my funnier part is what if it is bias <laughs> what if it is no that's you not uh, but you're gonna I'm uh, not saying I'm not I wouldn't listen to Axel here but, <laughs> you know also Axel is sitting here having fun yo-yoing with you guys. Oh yeah, every just once in a while I'll just be like, are you still in the carnival? Are you still in the carnival? Oh, yeah, <laughs> I, love I love that these two are the ones that flip out and I'm just like, okay, man, we're getting the fuck out of here. One way or another. If we're not out of the carnival yet, we will be throws bottle at wall. <laughs> I maybe. know your secrets! <laughs> Just start stabbing I mean, Walt. Be, I mean, to be fair, <laughs> only one of us will start throwing bottles. Actually, two of them will start throwing bottles. The other one will try to fight, figure out the way out of the freaking place. Without Excuse throwing me, a... let me take my crossbow out and shoot the wall. See, my point still, you would still throw an object at the wall. Shooting, throwing... Really? I mean, just just by technical, not like obviously the result is the same, but is shooting throwing? I mean, okay. one uses dex, we one versus one uses strength, but still the object of it is still there. I know. I'm just saying. 
Yeah. It's one of those like technical technicality things. It doesn't matter. But it matters. <laughs> I like how that's the result. But anyway, there's your answer. I'm just gonna go back to what I was watching now. Carly is going to try and climb the wall again and see what they're doing now. Okay. Uh, so it's a strength roll. I think, right? Strength or acrobatics? Athletics. Athletics, I believe, which is technically just strength, unless you have a proficiency bonus in that from something else. 18. Nice. That should be uh that should be fine. We'll say that gets you up the wall. I look up the wall again. I look at them. I want to know what they're doing. I have dark vision. Can I see them still? Uh, yes, actually. What are they doing? It seems to be, uh, like, they, it seems like they're in a circle around this creature, and you can kind of hear the stuff they're saying, but you don't know what they're saying because you just don't recognize the language. Oh, man. Why can't they speak in common? That would be too easy. Uh... Science, who knows common? <laughs> <laughs> who knows common? Uh... Do they look threatening? Uh, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. A little bit threatening. A little bit threatening. Yeah, they seem threatening. Okay. They also look like they might be wearing armor. Looks like they're wearing armor. Okay, 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 okay. So probably bad guys. I mean... Oh, sorry, you wanted a real answer. <laughs> I'm trying to decide here if I want to do something stupid. I don't know. Oh, oh, I don't know. Do I do something stupid or not? Ah. Uh. Whenever my uh, old one of my old people couldn't figure out what they wanted to do, they would make a roll for their character based on their uh, intelligence or their wisdom. Based on their intelligence or wisdom. Yep. Uh... So you'd get your bonus modifier, and uh, if you made a, you know, however choice. I mean, if you can't choose, obviously it's all down to your choice. But if you can't choose, that's how they used to do it. That's how Michael still chooses people on Among Us. What do you mean? I don't do that. <laughs> I feel like I have video <laughs> footage that says you do. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. In fact, I think there's a whole episode about it. <laughs> Actually, that episode. No. Actually, that episode's about how you uh, you weren't able to get Monkey <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> That's right. We should play some of the new modded stuff, Michael. They got new roles, so you don't have to be killer to have fun. Oh. So you got a role called Sheriff. Interesting. They 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 stole a bunch of it from Gmod, let's be honest. But there's a role yeah. called Sheriff where uh, you, as a regular person, can, like, kill anybody. And if you, and uh, oh. so that you can kill the imposter. But if you kill a crewmate, both of you die. Oh. So it's kind of like, am I absolutely sure? That way you kind of like have supreme power to be like, all right, yeah, you guys don't want to vote with me? Fine, I'm just going to kill this guy because I know it's them. Uh, they also added Jester, and the Jester wants to get ejected. Oh. I, th I think they might also want to get killed, but I can't remember. And then... I think they want to get ejected because if, they, if the killer kills if the imposter kills the the jester it just nothing happens yeah it might be that way i haven't seen the imposter jester interaction so i wouldn't know and then they just added another one called snitch which is 
It's so God, funny. that sounds, sounds horrible. Hey, good stealth. Ooh, actually, though, let's see how good my rolls are. <laughs> Let me see this character. Where's where's my uh, list of shit? Hello. Ooh, hello. Uh oh. <laughs> that don't sound good. So th uh -oh. this one seems to look over. I did that down. So I'm just hanging by my hands on the fucking wall. All right, so. So now you're down there, OK. Um, I have to double check this. Throwing something is a strength, right? All right, oh, it's, oh, it, oh, it's oh, going to fly to the edge and look down. Oh, shit, I dropped down. <laughs> 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 All right, so you're dropping down 20 feet from the roof. Gotcha. It is 20 feet, isn't it? Yeah. It's yeah. A bit of a fall. I'm okay. <laughs> um, I don't know how that because it's not like the same as like I guess pitfall where you're unaware. It's more like jumping off of something, which I feel like is either a reflex or a strength check. I guess I'm not sure which. But I I tend that's the other question. I think it should be a saving throw. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you do. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, you're not being sneaky with me. <laughs> I know why. <laughs> My deck saving throw is a plus six. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So it sounds like Carly fucked up. I may have fucked up a little bit. I wasn't stealthy enough. Good job not being stealthy enough. All, all I keep seeing, all I keep seeing is, uh, which is the typical. All I keep seeing is fucking forums complaining about how they haven't updated fall damage since fucking first edition. I mean, isn't that a good thing? Mm, yes and no, because they keep ramping up hit points. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. If you look at how many hit points, uh, like current characters have in certain stages of the game versus old editions, it's crazy. Even for monsters. But less so. Um. I have like so the the th the thread I'm reading says that you can take like a mitigated amount of fall since you're doing it intentionally. But I'd say that's like, I don't know, maybe a, a 25 to 50 percent mitigation at most. But uh, what I what I will do is I'll let you uh, I'll let you either take. 25 percent damage or I'll let you roll to try to take no damage. I'll roll. What do I roll? All right. What you got to roll is uh, basically just a reflex check. Or sorry, a dex check, not a save because you're doing this intentionally. Well, that's only a plus three. Fourteen? Uh, so if you can hear rustling in my background, the cats are having the zoomies. You tell those cats that I will eat them. No. Wink, wink. <laughs> it's like... Hey. hey. Or can I ask a quick question? Sure. Can Florence see Carly? I mean, she can she if she wants it. to uh, save her from a little bit of damage. Yeah, I'll do it. Alrighty. Oh, uh, having said that, the rest of you also see something peeking over the <laughs> edge of the. <laughs> actually, actually, I'm not sure if you do see him. Let's see. Okay, yeah, you see him. <laughs> His stealth roll wasn't great. Thing, guys. guys, I think I'm fucked up. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing. 
<laughs> I look up at the bat and I say hi. Well then. Uh it's gonna just turn around and flee. Hell. I'm gonna fucking we gotta climb the roof again. Climb on the roof. <laughs> I'm gonna try to climb on the roof and see what's happening. God damn it. Okay. I'm this is where our poison people are. Shit. Hold on. Where are my skills? Athletics plus two. Ooh, that was good. Ooh, yeah, no. I'm just scrabbling at the wall. Ah! Hey! Hey, guys! What? What? What are you what are you doing over there? I saw you. I I saw a bat up there. It's daytime. Bat, what are you doing in the daytime? I try to climb the wall again. <laughs> oh god. 21. There you go. You can climb up the wall. I climb all the way up this time. So I'm on the roof now. All right, so you're standing on the roof. I'm crouching on the roof. Okay. It's good to know. <laughs> this is where Carly dies. Hello? H Hello? Wait, wait up, wait up, wait up, wait up, wait up, wait up. Well, so they moved over there, and you, you kind of stop right about here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Get ready for a shove. No! I'm crouched! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, so scared I closed my carnival. My... My my D and D beyond. <laughs> How do I not be shoved? Uh, it's I believe I can't remember. Is Jewel knows? It, isn't it a contest between them, like a grapple, or is it an attack? No, it's not. It's it's uh it's more of an attack roll. I do believe it's either an attack or it's it's a contest. No, it's not a contest. It's it's a straight up attack roll. He's he's got to hit a sixteen. Good luck hitting it, a sixteen. No, it's a strength check contested by a strength check. Oh. Oh. It's it's interesting, but yeah, it's weird. It says you have to make a special attack to shove them. Target must be no more than one size larger than you within your reach. Instead of making an attack roll, you make a strength check contested by the target's strength or dexterity check. Dexterity check? Yep, no save check. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, get ready. You can use dex or strength, though, so I would use your uh, better one. Use my dex. Ah, you <laughs> lucked out. You lucked out. <laughs> he pushes like a bitch. <laughs> How big is this bat, by the way? Um, like a human-sized bat? Yes. Yeah, maybe not quite human-sized, actually. Um, he's still uh small, I believe. Wait. No. Let me can, I, check. can I grab him? Because he's flying, I should just be able to grab him and pull him around. Yeah, no more than one size. Well, he was flying, and then he smacked into you. So now he's no longer flying. He smacked into me like a bird in a windshield. He did. But you know the thing about birds? What? They come in flocks! Oh, God! <laughs> Second bat! <laughs> no! <laughs> Fucking second... Second thing. All right, but this bat is actually coming from over here. Nice crit. Fuck off. <laughs> now hopefully it doesn't crit. All right, it didn't crit. Now you got two bats there, and they're both looking at you. So I dodge and I say "fuck off," and I and I and they're still are they still running? Yeah. Fucking. These guys just used a surprise ass. attack round with stealth, so. Fucking pussy ass bitch. Because you didn't put I'm your gonna... stealth back on when you came up the last time. You didn't. No. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they ran off. These two are here with you. 
and that's what you see right now. Uh, uh, guys, alarm, alarm, come up here. Ayuda me. Ayuda me, please. Uh, uh. At which point the other dude's like, I don't speak help. Um, okay, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and cast a spell. Fucking Michael's DM got me freaking out about a spell, but I'm gonna cast a spell. And let's see, can I do it? How do I tell if something's 30 feet? Uh, you got your little... Uh, measuring device. Yeah. So, okay. So I can put it, like, right here? Can I get all of them if I put it right, like, here? So I can get them... Might not be able to get that one if I put it there. Um... Yeah! Yeah! So right here, see the end of my little arrow, right that by that stool. Uh huh. I'm gonna cast a spell right there. How do I draw? Right, right there. I'm gonna cast a spell. All right. Called hypnotic pattern. Ooh. I want everyone to make a wisdom save that can see it within that range. Wait, they can see it. Um. Is that what create it says? Pattern, create a twisting pattern of colors that weaves through the air inside a 30-foot cube within range. Oh. The pattern appears for a moment and vanishes and vanishes. Each creature in the area who sees the pattern shit. Must Yay! Okay. I had to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So are you still doing that? Uh, I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it. I'm gonna save it. Um... Uh, uh, one of the one of the great ways to use hypnotic pattern is to like put it slightly uh, either behind yourself or behind uh, because you don't want to see it. Yeah. So well, it you can't, it can't it can't surprise or can't do that to me. It says it's concentration. It says well, right? It'll cut it off for you, but it can hit all your teammates. Teammates, yes. And so what you usually do with that spell is when you enter battle, uh, you will go into somewhat closer battle, like 20, 30 foot range, and pop it behind you. And they uh, they can't get close because they just get hypnotically blinded as soon as they go into attack. There. That's just one of the ways. There's other ways to use it as well. Um, can the big one... Payas, not payas, fake payas, make a wisdom saving throw for me. Wait, wait, no, she's too far away. I think she's too far away. Yeah, she's way too far away. Fuck me. All right, fuck it. Fuck it. I'm going to just fucking go around the bats. One, two, three. Wait, we're not in combat order, right? So I can just move. Uh, I mean, technically, they both just attacked you, but. That's true. So I'm going to actually go. But it's just you guys that are in combat. You can disengage as long as you don't do any other actions. That's just your action is to back off. Can I disengage from two targets? Uh. Shit. I don't know. Uh, I think you can if you do it at the same time from each of them, but I don't know if you could do it two in a row. One each. You for disengage? Yeah. Um, if you say that you're disengaging, you can run through them because it's not an opportunity. It's not like she has her weapon drawn. The whole thing with disengage is. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. It's just that I don't have the things up and running because you know. Yeah. All right. So it's for the rest of the turn. Your movement no longer provokes attack of opportunity. Mm -hmm. Worm, cool. I'm gonna like go right, fucking right through him. I'm gonna go right here, and then one, two, wait, one, two, three, four, five, 
and I'm going right, I'm right here now. So you guys who are down on the floor, you saw me climb on the roof, nearly get shoved off twice, and then bolt into the roof. Do with that information what you will, because I'm just a little bard. Um, and then I'm, how close am I? Okay, so she's within range now. Yeah. But that, I think, is like my turn. Yep. That was your action. Do I have a bonus action? Uh, Do I have you usually get a bonus action, so if the spell only takes up a bonus action, you can use it. Oh, no! Oh, no, guys! I didn't change out my cure wounds for my healing word. Oh, no! Rip. Oh, no, that was a mistake I made. Oops. Okay, I'm done. That's all I can do. Alrighty. Uh, does anybody else want to act with this information they now have? Am I able to see the creatures? Uh, that's a good question, actually. I'm not sure. Hmm. I feel like this is a science question, and I don't want to do math. <laughs> so we're just going to say yes. <laughs> All right. Because I'm not working out the angles. <laughs> I I love you, Axel. Yeah, this is this is like one of those math questions. It's like if Billy has a ten foot ladder and a knife in places, like I don't want any apples. I, math trauma. I I love you. Thank you, buddy. Anyway, yeah, uh, you can see him. Well, one uh, of one of them. Where the fuck is Carly? She ran. I, I was gonna say I don't see her uh, character. Oh, I'm underneath the blue dot. Yeah, I'm she, right there. she's there. Oh, she's hiding under the blue, trying to uh, maintain yeah. cover. Gotcha. Exactly. Well, since I can see this one here, Ye. I'm going to uh, shoot at it. But before I shoot, I'm going to use the bonus action so that I can use Hail of Thorns. Nice. At second level. So if I hit, it'll do an additional 2d10 to it and nearby target. Alrighty. So, uh, yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. So I will do my roll for the attack, which is d20 plus 9. So I'm attacking this one here. Alrighty. Don't miss. <laughs> so there's my t attack. Nice. Does it hit? I mean, what do you think? I'm going to say yes. Yes, there's... N yeah, it's yes. <laughs> it's like... So I'll do my, I'll do my damage, which, which is 1d8 plus 4 and 2d10. All right. Oh, god damn it. That's not what I wanted to do. So... Roll 1d8 plus 4 plus 2d10. 10. Okay, why did you not do it? Weird. I roll. I want you to do damage. 8. Plus 4. Plus 2. D. 10. Hey, 10. All right. So, the f initial one takes 23, and this one takes 15. Alrighty. And boom. And boom. 
Alrighty. They are uh, unhappy. And uh, I guess now we should probably roll a turn order. It depends on if Jules joining in on the fight. Guess not. Alrighty then. So roll your orders, boys and girls. Let's see. I have an initiative of plus four. Same. Why is it not? There we go. Twenty-three. Nice. Oh yeah. I should I'm not in order. You don't belong there. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I got a dirty twenty. Gross. Gross. No. There I am. 23. All righty. Uh, with that being out of the way, that makes it the bat's turn. Specifically, these bats who are going to retreat. And when I say retreat, I mean attack. No! Yeah. I'm baby, though. I'm baby. I'm cute. You also are making some bad decisions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> Never turn your back on the enemy. I rolled for this. This happened because of dice. <laughs> can we really blame the dice, though? You can if you feel like it. <laughs> I'll blame the dice for every bad decision that's ever happened to me. That's what Michael does. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, so, uh, they're going to make some attacks here. Where is it saying? Hmm. Good there luck it beating a 16. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> well, you probably, probably shouldn't have said that. Uh, I got you the first. Ooh, that's. Ooh. Mm. Why? How much health Why? do you have again? Uh, 39. All right, you're fine. Probably. These guys How don't. How strong are these fucking bats? Um. Well, I did just give you guys all new weapons. Shit. So. You did, didn't ya? Uh, you take seven damage from that one. Ooh. Actually, let's just do it by the book. Uh, so you take. Ooh. Mm. 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 You know, maybe I will do the rolls just to be. See. Yeah, no, let's just keep what we got. Uh you take twenty-four damage. Uh one bit you and then sliced you with its sword. It's a bat with a sword? Yeah. You rolled uh for the perception, but you gotta roll a little higher to figure out what they are. Well, you actually gotta um. do something else to figure out what exactly they are. They kind of look Ooh. like bat people holding swords. Batman? I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Batman, did you go dark side, Batman? Batman was always dark side. True. No one That's wanted fair. to accept it. That's a hell of a plot twist, considering dark side's an actual character. <laughs> Have you seen dark side <laughs> Batman? Oh, God. They just released him in, in bat metal. It was awful. <laughs> the whole thing. You heard me. Fight me, nerds. <laughs> they can't. Fight me, comic <laughs> nerds! Fight me! They're gonna come out of the woodwork. No. Anyway, uh, yeah, so one of them uh, bit you and then... Or, sorry, one of them stabbed you and then the other one bit you and stabbed you. And it got a crit. Ow. 
Uh, that really hurt. That was very rude. Ye. Also, you did put uh, your back to them, so. I did. I did. And then it's the other bat's turns. Because <laughs> I rolled right next to each other like a jackass. Two, three. No, don't go too far away. No. They're fast as hell, yo. Christ, where are they going? Fast as hell. Where are they going? I you know what I should forgot? probably asked him. I, I completely forgot that I have a second attack I could have used. Yeah, I was wondering if you were going to use it, but you didn't say anything, and it's not really my job to remind you. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not... You just got it this level, I know. Yeah, I'm not used to having it right now. That's the other reason I kind of have these guys up here, is even though... Um, and don't get me wrong, these guys will be tough to deal with anyway. Like, I made these guys a problem. Because you guys haven't had that many fights, so I want you to have a hard fight. And even more than a hard fight, I wanted you to have an interesting fight, right? Like, the first thing these guys did was not try to stab you, even though they had swords, they just tried to push you off the roof. Okay. And so these guys are going to employ tactics and have... They're not just going to stand there and, like, throw blows with you like a T-Man contest, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but also, I made them... I very much had to look for very specific characters that can deal with all the bullshit I gave you. Or allowed you to have in the first place. <laughs> Cough. Yeah. Poison. <laughs> so now all my monsters, I just have to look like, alright, is it immune to poison? Alright, cool, throw it in there. <laughs> 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 or something to the similar effect of uh, this one, though, I think it works well because I did give you... Uh... See, I need to check that. I never... I need to double check. Well, I'm double checking. Um, we're sure that hypnotic pattern doesn't affect me, right? I don't think it does. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't. It doesn't say it affects me. I mean, also as a half elf, aren't you like resistant slash immune to mind effect? Oh, um, advantage against being charmed and magic can't put me to sleep. Is this charm? I think it's charm. No, it's not exactly charm. Actually, yeah, it is charmed. On a failed save, a creature becomes charmed. Oh. Yeah. So Florence and I, we're fine. Good luck, Wedge. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> but anyway. It, is, it, is it my turn now? Oh, no. Yes. The DM is gone. Okay. No, you're here. Sorry, I was reading something. Cool, then I'm gonna do something here. Um go ahead. Yeah. Um right right here. Right here in this square. I'm gonna go ahead and cast hypnotic pattern. For real this time. Alrighty. I'm going to double check the spell and see if it works on you. It's, Probably not. I think it's the other way. That is the other way to use it correctly. Just to make sure you can't see it. Um, yeah, it's too far away from me right now. You can also just close your eyes, which is another way to get around it. That's true. That too. All right. In the area, yeah. So it's a 30-foot cube, and because it's a 30-foot cube and I'm casting it, like, 100 feet away, I'm fine. But these th four have to make a wisdom saving throw. All right, these four... Which ones no, are we not talking about? not that blue. Not that blue mark. This blue oh. mark. All right. This blue mark, yeah. All right, well... I don't well... know how to erase that one. 
All right. Well, let me uh, let me draw something here. Boop, boop, boop. It should be. Boop. Yeah. Boop. Oh dang it! Can I move it a little bit so it's in front of them? Yes. I just wanted to make that known to you. That it's like, yeah, they're not looking that way. So. Then I'll just put it in front of them. Yeah, that's a good idea. I fucking love a baseball kind of kind of motion, and my hypnotic pattern goes off instead of right there, right here this time. Because fuck them! Don't run, bitch! Um, so yeah, I cast my hypnotic pattern. Um, uh, and then I'm gonna give myself bardic inspiration because I'm so cool, and these fucking bats ain't shit. That's it. That's the end of my turn. Nice. Uh, so, now I have to make some rolls. Yeah. Let's see. One, two, three. All right. Uh, one of them definitely got uh, past it. The other two, I Which think, one? failed. Uh, I'm gonna say this one. No, or not. Well, there should. What about the? What about big one? Hey, is. Oh, uh, they they probably they probably saw it. Yeah, they should probably roll for them. Okay, they also were uh, good. Damn. I'm supposed to stop Hey, is. Well, they're they're not uh, moving, so. I mean, to be fair, you do have cunning words. Yeah. Not here. And they're too far. Oh, I do have cutting words. Hey, look at that. But I think also they're too far. Yeah, they're si they're more than 60 feet away, so I can't. They fast. Okay. They fucking fast, bro. They really are okay. fucking fast. I, I'm just yeah. offering my uh, But it does yeah, seem to have affected these two right here, so you're, you're good. Okay, that's the end of my turn. Which makes it Michael's turn. <sighs> it's like a clunk clunk from the roof, goddamn it, Oh, I do say, I do say, help, help. Can, help! can I have help! one of the other Modrons fly me up to the top? Yeah, but it's gonna take the turn. <sighs> to be fair, it basically would take the turn anyway. Because you gotta climb and well, no, because isn't climbing just moving? Yeah, climbing is moving. So I mean, yeah, you can, but it'll take the turn to have them fly you up there. I'd have to roll a good athletics in order to get up there. I mean, like, decent athletics. It's not like climbing the mountain. Oh, I'm gonna attempt to climb to the top of the fucking roof. Because you know, imagine that Carly got herself into another predicament. Listen, I haven't gotten myself into many predicaments this game. <laughs> uh, yeah, the other one almost got the entire team killed. Listen, I didn't ask to be followed. <laughs> Anyways, here's my athletics to see if I can get up to the roof. Oh, you're fine. Yeah, yeah, I think you do. I think you do. You know, I'm a, I'm pretty fucking uh. Agile slash athletic Earth Ganassi. That should be a good roll. You can get up there. All right. So I'm I'm up on the roof. Oh, it helps me switch back to my select. I'm gonna say I'm standing right here. And these things are flying in the air, right? The ones that are carrying the payas looking motherfucker. One more time. These these are flying in the air, right? So I can see them? Yeah. If you damage them, they get they get, they, they break their charm. Now the question is, is do I do I attack those or do I help out the bard? 
and got herself into trouble. All right. I'm going to attack this one here. Yay! Because I'm going to assume that's the one I initially targeted. Yes. All right. And before I make my attack roll, I'm going to use my sharpshooter ability to impose a negative five to hit for ten additional damage. All righty. So instead of my plus nine to hit, it'll be a plus four. All right. Come on, hit, baby. Oh, damn. Yeah, Stop. not only did you not hit, your, your string breaks. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you using the Ofo? I'll, uh, yeah, he was using the Ofo. Aw. His Ofo is special, by the way. <laughs> fucking would roll fucking that one on shit i like if it was with your regular plus nine i might have let it drop but i mean how often am i gonna get a chance to really give you the weapon malfunction roll <laughs> <laughs> um i gotta look this up but i'm look. i'm thinking Oh, no, 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 that's not what I mean. Hmm. Damn it. Well, I don't think I'm going to find info on this, because it's a very... Uh, it seems about fair to me. I had to double check some of the stuff on this because I've never had it go like this. Anyway, uh, Bat's turn. Oh no! Fucking bullshit. Yeah, this one turns what around to attack. I don't have another character, so I hope I don't actually die. So this one uses uh, the disengage action. It gets it as a bonus to go attack Michael. It's going to try to push him off the roof again. It's probably not going to win, but it's going to try. All right. So dex save. Uh, you could do strength or dex. Well, as... I'm going to use dex because yeah. my dex is plus seven. If you roll a one again, I'm going to laugh. Shut the fuck up. I'm just <laughs> warning you ahead of time so you don't feel hurt. Ah, oh, you fall fight. off the fucking roof, baby. Oh, no. <laughs> this is the best fucking fight we've done so far, and it's five minutes. I'm going back to playing League. Fuck this shit. Hey, look, <laughs> look. Night. Here's here's the thing. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I had fucked up, or else this would have been going differently anyway, because I had to double check some stuff. But it's, I think it's funnier this way, so. All for the content, buddy. Sorry, well, how about this, Michael? We'll play some League after this. I'll make it up to you. All right, sounds good. I'm going to use one of my no stones idea. and put <laughs> another fall on, on, on Wed. Uh, can you see him? I guess you could see him for the split second before he goes off the roof. Yeah. So you're going can for... Can I use my reaction to do that? I uh if not that uh florence is below him. i was gonna say florence is down there too so maybe florence oh, can, yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe florence can take care of him yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just see wedge go up yep. uh, like I said. oh fuck <laughs> boom just pushed <laughs> off the roof yeah. like I 
and oh you know, my god featherfall. all right so while while she does that as a reaction we'll let that go uh the other one's going to try to attack you again uh i don't think it what was your armor again 16 uh let's see what Can't is she cutting it? words it you know yeah, she okay. did she could have but she did something else instead oh i wait yeah you have to maintain that spell of concentration now don't you yeah i know but i i mean it wasn't a bad plan i'm gonna give you props here because you did stop him yeah. i'm looking for the plus oh man they do have a big plus they have a bigger plus than i remember oh wait 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 See, I knew I was forgetting some kind of shit. I knew I was forgetting certain things. Oh, but I had already covered that. All right, well, we'll say one did. So we got you with one of them. Ooh. Uh, which is six damage. Ooh. Yeah, I know. Ow. I know you're getting a little close there. <laughs> you might want to. You might want to put this guy down. Uh, next time instead of uh, stopping these guys. Having said that, uh, I can't remember. Does damage stop concentration in this or no? In yeah. this version, uh, there's a uh, uh, It's a roll, roll right? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's what I was because I. It's different than in the old versions slightly. In the old versions, you had like. Actually, I think it might have been the same, but slightly affected by your armor or some shit. I don't know. It was weird. It's always been weird spell interruptions. Yeah. So go. Ooh. Mm. All right. So uh, that spell. Hypnotic inspiration. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. You can. Uh. Uh. One d eight. This is my make or break. Come on. Uh. Come on. Eight. Oh Yay. shit! All right, you keep the spell up. Yay! <laughs> Hooray! Uh, I the very inspiration on myself was useless. Uh -huh. Good job. Uh, uh, if if Florence wants to do something, it's her point. But otherwise, it's uh, it's your turn again. Oh, wait, that's old. That's old. Yeah, she didn't re-roll her. Uh... Uh, initiative, so we just have the same yeah. old initiative. The 4.14 initiative. Yeah, no, I'm good. So, if I try to fire my crossbow at this range? The enemy in melee range, yeah. I believe Will it's... Be? I think it's disadvantage, but it might not be. I can't remember. Firing range in melee I know we check these it same things. It's like we check these same things like eighty times in time, but it's I always forget. <laughs> I know this is not the first time we checked this. Yeah, yeah. Fuck it. Anything that's ranged that we're doing and you're in melee range of an of an enemy is done at disadvantage. Okay, you got him. Nineteen with my flame tongue crossbow. All right. I hope I don't kill him. Why? Because I don't, I don't want to accidentally kill one of these when we might be able to talk to this person. Well, yeah, but you got a bunch of them. <laughs> True. But I don't want to be a dick and kill one of them. Like you did last what time. That one's, what if that one's its brother? Like, like you did last time, you mean? Like I did last time. <laughs> <laughs> like you did last time. Her trauma showing. It is. It's Your true. Trauma showing. That's, that sounds horrible. Yeah, it is. <laughs> It's okay though. Uh but yeah, go for it. Uh plus three. So this is the first bit of damage, and then there's the fire damage. Eight! Yay! Damn. Um so then there's the fire damage, which I think is two D six. Yeah, two D six. Uh roll two D six. Ooh, six. So a total of seventeen damage. All right. Uh, it it uh the arrow lodges itself 
deeply near the thorns that had been burning it before, and it falls down and goes... Yay! And it turns into a goblin. It what? <laughs> it what? <laughs> Polymorph. Got it. Polymorph. Cool. Is it prone? I mean, it's down. Passed out. It's down and dead. Yeah, it looks like this. <laughs> well, that's not how polymorph works. Oh, big. No, he's not big. I just wanted to show you. Okay, okay, okay. That's not polymorph, then. That's weird. I take a second, I look at it, and I say, that's weird. And then I move my full movement. Because I still have movement, I think. I'll be right there where this guy is. Boop. I chase. And that's my turn. Alrighty, that makes it Wedge's turn. Alright, well, I'm gonna give my fucking broken oath bow. Son of a bitch. Do you want to? Uh, do you want to restring it? Oh, uh, I was. I don't have the materials to restring a broken string. How dare you not keep bow material on you? You're an archer. Maybe you can ask uh, Florence to just make you one. Well, I was gonna give my oath bow to one of the Modrons and tell it to take it to the Sphinx to have the Sphinx fix it. I mean, you can do that too, but it's probably gonna take a while. I don't know, can, can Florence press digitate up a uh, bowstring, you think? Does that work? I mean, why not? The total length wouldn't be over the uh, cubic measurements, right? God, I love prestidigitation. It really is the best spell. Uh, but then again, it only lasts up to an hour. Well, yeah, but, you know, until you finish fighting. I'm not an hour. <laughs> I am just, I'm just... Save us, Florence. Save us. Um, odd odors. Nothing about items, though. You can. This has a non-magical trinket, or illusionary image that can fit in your hand. Yeah. Oh no! Wait, what's the other one I'm thinking about? That? Mending. Maybe it's mending. Yeah, I think what you're thinking of having her do is the mending spell, which she does not have. Ha! I don't have mending. You still have your old bow? No, I gave that to the Sphinx after he gave me the oath bow. Yeah, it was a good trade. Until it wasn't. Uh, until it wasn't. He's just gonna have to strangle these guys to death. <laughs> hey, I got my short sword and whip. Fuck off. Okay. Um, what was I gonna say? I can't remember which one I'm thinking of. Because it might be many, but I swear there's another thing where you can make like a small trinket. I'm reading this. Um, it's not prestidigitation, but I swear there's another one. Or one cube of not, or flavor up to one cubic feet of non-living material for an hour. Um, you can make a color, a small mark, or a symbol appear on an object, or on or it's on an object or a surface up for an hour. You can create an on. Okay, yeah, I see it. It's at the very end. Go figure. Um, you can create but it has a magical to... trinket or an illustrated uh, image that fits in your hand. It has to be into the duration, but I'm guessing it has to be. So that was what I was wondering. Does it have to be in your hand, or does it just have to be able to fit in your hand? Yeah, that, that's the question of the year. I mean, because I've I've seen prestidigitation used for some wild ass shit in plays. Like they yeah, just do wildness. Obviously, I mean it's all up to the DM, but yeah, exactly. That's the bigger thing. I guess it also depends on if a bowstring lines up to your definition of a trinket. Yeah, that's true. That's... Here's here's the real question, and the, here's the funnier one that would be more interesting, just as like a anime kind of thing. Could you press digitate your string on the bow, like preset, just like bam in the and it's on there. 
Because then you'd have like an instantly stringable bow, only for two rounds, obviously, but. No, it would be a lot longer since it does last an hour. Keep that in mind. Well, I think that particular. Is it that one that only allows for. I think that specific uh, effect has a shorter. But it might not do. Mm, I'm just, I remember reading the duration. I remember reading. Yeah, the duration is up to an hour. But that specific, uh, or maybe it's only the illusion, but it says on that one, when you create a non-magical, or you create a non-magical trinket or illusionary image that can fit that up lasts. in your hand, but only lasts until the end of your next turn. Yeah. So I'm not sure, but it, I mean, still, that would be two turns, especially for like a ranger who just grabs prestigitation as like a side in one of its uh, as a wizard level and they have one level wizard and then it's like all right i can string my bow at the beginning of each round instead of attacking and have a secret <laughs> you're just talking i'm not armed my bow's unstrung i'm good kill them all <laughs> kill them kill them kill them and then you're like fucking psych psych i'm the best uh, uh also axel did you <sighs> answer the question that i sent you i'm, I'm answering it now I had to ask that question. Oh, God. But yeah, so uh, you can definitely send it with one of the Modrons. It'll probably take a couple turns, but I mean, they'll get it done. Yeah, I'm going to give my uh, bow to one of the Modrons, not Mike. Mike? <laughs> Mike just hurt. And I'm going to tell the Modron to take it to the Sphinx to have the string repaired. I already uh, have the bow restringed. This one's gonna nod and say Chuck. Chuck? Thank you, Chuck. Chuck. Proud, proud, proud. <laughs> and then I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking take my happy ass and try to athletics back up. <laughs> he did so well the first time. I had to make him go back. He did too good. <laughs> <laughs> the dice just helped so much. This is so fucking funny. Oh, look who's back up here. And who's get who's back, back, back. Oh shit, he didn't run when he could have. And then look at that. I'm gonna fucking pull out my goddamn short sword and I'm gonna stab this motherfucker. What's the, uh, just, just curious, what's the name of your sword short? Just sword short? Short sword? Okay, cool. Good to know. I mean, it's, it's actually not short sword. Short sword. Short sword. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna stab this motherfucker for pushing me off. Alrighty. He's he's very stabbable. Does a sixteen hit? Uh, yes. Yes, it does. Cool. What's my damage on the short sword? 1d6 plus 4. Still just... Still just laughing. 10 cause... damage. Ooh, nice. That would have been a and, kill. And uh, I'm gonna do it again. Alright. Because multi-attack. Alrighty. That's a hit. Again, obviously. For nine. This, uh, this might seem like an awkward question. Your, your weapon's not by chance made of silver, is it? <sighs> no, it's not. All right, I just had to double check. <clears throat> no reason. No, no, reason no good reason at all. Yeah, no, it's good. It's all I, good. I fucking hate this session right now. <laughs> I, Look, I gave you a magic bow like five minutes ago and you broke it. It broke in five minutes. <laughs> I literally just gave you all magic weapons so you could kill these assholes. <sighs> I, I don't know. Like they, have, they had a fucking silver tipped fucking whip so I could just be Trevor Belmont. Yeah, you should have. You know what, you know what, Michael, you should just try, like, you know, he's immune to bludgeoning, but he's not immune to fall damage. <laughs> so you're saying I should have used my fucking whip 
to sit there and hook him and throw him to the ground by Florence. You could also just grab him and jump off the building. <laughs> Look, it would be the most creative kill of a werewolf I've ever seen. Actually, I'm not sure. I think I think fall damage is bludgeoning damage, but it's just too funny an idea. Uh. Oh God, I gotta go look at my thing. I I have such a hatred for this right now. All right, it is technically uh fall damage. I just love it because it's just the tiny. <laughs> yep, good response, so... Jewel. Yes, for, yes, thank for my, you're welcome. Uh, I just love how this is what I respond with. <laughs> so before my turn ends, I'm gonna flip off the bat. It's it's all right. He was kind of giggling anyway. He deserved it. <laughs> to be fair, he wasn't giggling too uh, too much when you shot him with the oath bow. He's still pretty <laughs> fucked up. I mean, when you actually shot him with the oath bow earlier, this yeah. is the one you shot. So. He's still pretty pissed about that. I think he might want to push you off again. <laughs> I swear to God, you push him off. Here's kidding. the thing: it I, shouldn't I, have it shouldn't have even you. worked the first time because Michael has the higher bonuses. He just made two bad rolls right in a row. It was. And I'm sitting here enjoying the shit out of this. I probably shouldn't be laughing, but it's worth about five bucks just to watch this. this it's is, okay. This is when here's, Lawrence loses her party. Here's the thing: here's when the unexpected happens. Mike. Mike! <laughs> oh, God. Mike, I don't know if you can do this, man. You got this, Mike. I believe in you, Mike. I believe that the Modron can do shit. You know, you know, Mike has proved us all wrong. But I'd also... I'd also like to state uh, that Mike is just a Modron. Mm. He's not just a Modron. This is I mean, also I true. Mean, I mean, I don't mean that as a condescending statement. I mean that, yes, he's the best, but just the most drawn. He's the best. You have to say that. Because he's really amazing. He keeps up with the crowd. He's, that a good we... he's a good little Modron boy. Exactly. He's the best one. All right, well... Mike missed, but the power of plot has given him a 20. Woo! All right, give me one moment. Armor. Armor of plot. So, uh... Do, 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 Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Okay, we so, need weapon. Uh, on a different node, does what need help up there? Uh, mm, I need help up here. Mm, I'm very close to death. Carly needs an adult. Wedge needs help, and Florence is. <laughs> I need an adult. I like how this is the risk, and then I have what uh Florence over here enjoying popcorn and watching this shit shenanigans. Yeah. Help your party, Florence. I'm almost dead. Okay, okay. I caught the, I ca I'm catching the message. <laughs> to be fair, that was just an unlucky round where I rolled a crit and hit on, like, every attack. Great. Okay. But I did super good. I did a super good move then with Hypnotic Pattern. I like how this is what the Florence looks away for a good chunk of time, or is it the responsible adult for five minutes, and this is what the response? Uh, yeah, we. You're not allowed to leave us ever again. <laughs> That's a problem. That is a fucking problem. I'm baby, and have no self control. And and I'm and wedge. I just have bad luck. <laughs> um. So you see, Mike. Uh, pull out what appears to be a large hammer made of one solid piece of obsidian. Ooh. What? Um. Okay. Yeah. And he, uh, he swings it down. 
Let's see what he does. How did I get a okay. plus one to that? That was weird. Oh, no, no, it rolled the two. Okay, cool. Um, And you see him smack this motherfucker. Woo! Uh, but then you also see Mike uh, fall to his knees in pain. <laughs> and go, Mike! Mike, no! Mike, no. Yeah, no, Mike, no. All right, now it's the bat's turn. And he's going to attack Mike. To be fair, Mike has proven to be the greater threat at this moment. <laughs> I, was waiting, I was fucking Yay! waiting for it. I was waiting for it. Yeah, I know. I was waiting for the shit too. I'm low key was waiting for the shit. All right. Uh. Uh. uh yeah. The the um. Yeah. Uh. You know he hits Mike with his sword. Mike. Mike's more of a threat right now. <laughs> see, see, see. He did this to last session, and now he's doing it to Mike. Look, everyone gets it. one. Everybody gets this one. <laughs> I don't know what uh, to And Mike I takes uh, six damage, and uh, he's not looking too good. Mike's looking rough. Uh, these guys are still... Oh, wait, they need to make their rolls. I didn't do that last time either. I gotta make a roll and see if they can get out of it. Oh, hey, cool. One got out of it. No! Yee. Yeah. Uh, luckily no. for you that they're still right there. They can't go anywhere. They didn't move? No. For reasons that I will maybe explain later if you catch them. I will catch them. Okay. Uh, I mean... Oh, uh, is Florence gonna do? All right, Florence is hurt. Is Florence gonna Florence. help? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now Florence is after seeing that. I've never laughed so damn hard. It was I a know. really good. Uh, this is real good content for the channel. <laughs> oh yeah, no. Uh, this is why I, 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 I let this happen to see how far it can get. And apparently, without Florence's help, um, Wedge breaks his bow. Um, resorts to using a short sword and slowly regrets his life choices. And next thing he's gonna do is uh, mount off Florence saying, Well, me, 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 Florence. I'm just saying, I already know how this is gonna go. Um, hmm. Well, Florence will do this as her action. Alrighty. And do Blade Song as her bonus action and make it up that up that mountain. Or no. I mean you can, you still gotta make the roll, but you just get the bonuses, obviously. And the advantage, sorry. I mean it's only a dex advantage. It is, but uh it's on Oh uh, the other thing is your speed's doubled, so as long as you So what would I be rolling? Uh, for that one, it's uh, I believe, a athletics. Yep, athletics. Uh, just making sure I'm understanding. Okay, because I have no athletics to save my. Yeah, like remember the mountain. You don't talk about that damn mountain. That's a curse. <laughs> That's a thing. Hashtag the mountain. Yeah, that should be good. I think like that I like the image though that Carly was just sitting at the top of the mountain, playing Miley Cyrus's "The Climb." I swear to gosh. While naked. Yeah. What? Yeah. Bottomless naked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's enough to get my happy hands up, right? Uh, yeah. You should be fine. Okay. Mike, um, <laughs> just weak as shit. Just Mike, uh, Mike, no, Mike, no, indeed. Um, can she stand between the giant bat thing and Mike? Yes. Badass. 
Also, for uh, uh, for future reference, he has a bow in his hand. For those who did not know. Yeah. So wait, quick question: Do I still have an action? Uh, do I have an action to attack, or just not? Nah? Uh, you have an additional action. So yeah. Oh wait, no. Doesn't haste take your additional action as part of the cast? Says so it gives you the additional action that turn, and the next turn you get two actions, right? Because casting haste would take an action, and then it gives you an extra action, which you use to climb up. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, so yeah, that. yeah. So next time you'll have a double action. But currently you are protecting Mike. Yeah. Mike. You may now put on your 3D audio listening equipment. <laughs> <laughs>